blessings. This evening, a woman was stabbed by a man at Center Point Plaza in Montego Bay, St. James. Also coming up, a man got hit by a car in Lilliput, St. James. So that and more. And remember that if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe. Plus, click the notification bell. And while doing so, select option all. So that way, you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel. And also remember to give this video a like, like always, for YouTube algorithm blessings and more beatitude stay safe So starting off with the curfew imposed in Kingston West, a curfew has been imposed in sections of Kingston West. The curfew began at 6 p.m. on Thursday, July 1 and remained in effect until 6 p.m. on Saturday, July 3. The boundaries of the curfew are as follows. North from the intersection of Gem Road and Maxville Avenue, travel east along Gem Road to the intersection of Greenwich Street continued east along Greenwich Street to the intersection of West Road. Now for the eastern fraction, it is east from the roundabout of West Road, Travis South along West Road to the intersection with Spanish Town Road. And for the southern section, the curfew is south from the intersection of West Road and Spanish Town Road. Travel west along Spanish Town Road to the intersection with Maxville Avenue. And when we look at the west, it is west from the intersection of Maxfield Avenue and Spanish Town Road, travel north to the intersection of Gem Road. So during the hours of the curfew, all persons within the boundaries of the curfew are required to remain within their premises unless otherwise authorized in writing by the ground commander. So the latest statistical release on crime, Jamaica surpasses 700 murders. Amid the 90 All Island curfew and other C19 containment measures, Jamaica recorded over 700 murders in the first half of the year. A total of 707 killings were recorded between January 1 and June 30. According to the data compiled by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, this is 5% more than the 671 murders recorded over the comparative period last year. Jamaica recorded just over 1,300 murders all of last year. And the All Island curfew, which requires persons to remain indoors and largely begun at 8 p.m., along with the limit on public gatherings, are among a suite of measures imposed by the government to stem the spread of the C19 virus. However, the JCF, the Jamaica Constabulary Force data, shows that nearly a third of the murders recorded in the first half of the year occurred between 6 p.m. and midnight, which is a breach of the DRMA. A total of 159 persons were reportedly killed between the hours of 6 p.m. and 8.59 p.m., the highest for any of the three hour periods created by the JCF. Some 114 murders were recorded between 9 p.m. and midnight, and a total of 195 killings, 98 and 97 respectively, were recorded over the two three hour periods between 6 a.m. and midday according to the Jamaica Constabulary Force data. So the St. Andrew South Police Division leads the nation with 90 killings and in the first six months of the year, a 14% increase over the comparative period last year. St. James is next with 82 reported murders followed by the Kingston Western Police Division with 61. Trelawney recorded six murders, the least of the 19 police divisions island-wide, St. Mary with eight and Porton with nine or um, the other divisions with single digit killings so leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section and if you reach this far in the video please i'm asking you to give the video a like that is all i'm asking of you so in return for the work i'm doing please i'm asking you to just press the like button press the thumbs up button in appreciation blessings so i have a video 
showing what appears to be an altercation between two women and a man at center point plaza in montego bay st james the man was in a white shirt looking like he was coming from work or he was on his lunch break and in the video both women were inside what um what looks like a hairdressing parlor and i saw the man going through the door walking towards um the boisterous females as usual or as expected they were being verbal with their utterances towards the man and um, i think he should have walked away instead of going through that door in anger trying to prove a point or walking them down to get justification over what could have been avoided so he went back inside the business establishment and rushed them so both ladies attack him and start to use their handbags and their two long arms to try and fight him off and that was when he used the weapon to inflict a wound to one of the female i didn't see clearly what type of weapon it was however i saw him stabbing about three times and i'm not sure if all three connect but there was a lot of human ink flowing all over the plaza the color red was all over and you can hear the injured female saying him stab me him stab me so based on youtube's policy obviously the video cannot be shown here because them report some of my videos before and youtube pick out one and strike it so i don't want to lose my channel so if you're interested to see the raw unedited video you can dm me on instagram and i'll let you have it be attentive then leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section here's the video So there you have it and my Instagram account link is down below in the description of this video and all the other videos. And to all the females out there, if you are being provoked by a man, I guess it's best if you get the police involved because these men will stop at nothing to get you killed. Women are no longer respected in Jamaican society by most men. So you will not be exempt from danger. They will harm you just like how. They would deal with the next man, they will address you in evil just as equal as how they would take out their worst enemy. Um, I guess the heart of men is made from heights in these last days. Anyway, leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section. We are still in St. James, now we are going to take a look at this last video in which a man was last night hit by a car in Lilliput. Onlookers were able to identify him as Mr. Reed, otherwise known as Pilot. Another sad incident, which I didn't have to cover stories like this. I don't know if he was crossing the road with the mindset of a mongoose, if you're not a chance on a man and dash across the road, or it was the driver's fault. Nevertheless, in this unexpected event, the driver stopped and he is a taxi operator, not sure which route he navigates, I wouldn't disclose that anyway, but I appreciate the fact that he stopped whether he's at fault or not, so investigations can be conducted smoothly and there can be closure so leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section be attentive here's the video I God. this Big man, So, there you have it. That was it. If you reach this far in the video, please I'm asking you to just give the video a like. That is all I'm asking of you. In return for the work I'm doing, press the thumbs up button. Please leave a like. Also remember that if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe, plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all, so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel. 
and also remember to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude stay safe